fun anxiety thing. For me, school is a big one. Um, but I guess you could say it's like a high functioning anxiety. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Well, I'm, I'm doing it. I was doing fine until when like, I was almost to the zoo, and then I felt the need to pop my ears. So I tried to pop it, and you know how like it kind of feels like your ears even more blocked up. Well, it did that, and suddenly it felt like the world was doing this, and I was still driving. So I was like, "What is this?" So I think I screwed with my inner ear for a little bit because it just felt like the world was tilting. And I'm like, this isn't safe when I'm driving. I nearly pulled over, but I was like, you know, I'm almost to the zoo. So the best thing I could do was slow down. And once my ear quit being blocked up, it was fine. I still feel a little dizzy, though. And I'm like, what is this? What's happening? So terrifying time of the day getting dizzy while driving so exciting but now i am at the zoo and i'm about to go away for my internship so just wanted to tell you guys good morning i'll check back in with you later hey guys so i'm actually up on my bed vlogging for once it's been a long time since i've last done that and there's this sassy girl over on the couch hi sweet girl Back to sleep. Okay. So, I am working on uploading the vlog to the YouTubes. Yeah! Which will take it a while because it was a 13 minute vlog. Mainly talking about MRL and him being out in public. Which was awesome for him. I won't go into detail about that a billion times. If you guys want to see it, just look at the day... Look at... Um, well at this point it would be yesterday's vlog by the time you see this, so you could look at that and see how that went, and even a clip from him at Tractor Supply. Um, <sighs> sorry, I'm sleepy, which is good since I don't have my Ambien, and I still need to call that in. That's something I need to do at some point. Um... So, fun anxiety thing. For me, school is a big one. Um, but I guess you could say it's like a high-functioning anxiety. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that. Like, I was able to attend school, obviously. I technically graduated with my bachelor's in biology, so survived. Um, but I was technically two hours short, so I have to take one more class, which I am right now. It's biological statistics. And... I hear somebody coming up the stairs. Who is it? It's Emerald. Hi, sweet boy. You're trying to find my squirrel keychain, but you can't have it. Ah, don't even think about it. That keychain is special. What did you just get in your mouth? Um. Uh, Hold on, I gotta see what he got. No, here, play with that. So, anyway. I was doing homework for biological statistics. And, of course, I started getting some anxiety, and I thought that I would share that with you guys. Um, because I'm already worried about getting answers wrong. Because I didn't write down every single solitary thing the professor said because I didn't have the skeleton notes, which is basically all of his notes. I didn't have those printed off yet. I had Mom print them off for me today while I was at work, and yay, thank you, Mom, for printing off 123 pages worth of notes, and then three pages of tables in, in my homework sheet. Yay! But I started getting really anxious that the answers that I was writing down weren't good enough, 
and that they would be wrong. That's something that I can't really help that my brain does. Is I always think there has to be a right and a wrong answer type thing. Like, for example, when my lead keeper asked me about... Um, he asked me, why do I want to become a keeper? And I mean, I gave an answer that, like, you know, I want to work with animals and also, like, educating the public. And then he just kind of went on about how there's all sorts of different ways to care for animals, like going into conservation or um, some other things. But all I could think about was, did I give the wrong answer? <laughs> did I not respond correctly? And I mean, I know there does not have to be a right answer for everything. But welcome to the world of anxiety, where brain thinks things in black and white. There is no gray. So, so exciting. And I think hopefully the homework went well. I'm kind of unsure about it now. And then I think I kind of scared a keeper a little bit today. Because I finally came up with plans for my intern project. Which I left them at work. <laughs> and somebody's going to throw them away and I'm going to be so sad. Um, so I've mentioned my intern project before, but I'll mention it again in case you guys don't know what it is. So by the end of my internship, I have to design, build, and test an enrichment item for an animal in my area that I was in. And basically compile that. Um, enrichment is basically mental stimulation for an animal. Like, it could be foraging for something or... How it, or like smelling certain things or experiencing different things. So I basically came up with a feeder type thing for camels. And then my plan B, because I came up with a plan B, was enrichment for the potbelly pigs. Because mental stimulation is a huge thing for them. And I was just going through every little detail that I needed. Um... Like, for example, for the feeder I'm making for the camels, I want it to look like a cactus with needles. So they have more stimulation and more they have to move their mouth around. I was going with, like, okay, what are the needles going to be made of? How am I going to get them in here? How are they going to stay in there? How many times are they going to have to be replaced? Because the camels eat everything. Um, the varying hole sizes to like in the PVC pipe that the cactus will be made of, so on and so forth. And I think I kind of concerned him with my very much overthinking. But I want this to be good. I want it to be right. Again, the right and wrong thing. I want this to go well. Because this is a huge thing. And I want to get it done before I get swapped over to a different area, because halfway through I'll be switched to a new area. So... There you go. So, yeah. That was the thoughts that I had going through my mind. Oh, look. There's my whiny boys. Hi, Riddler. You guys are so cute. I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. So, I've got Sassy. Well, no, that's Riddler. Whoops. I got Riddler. I got my Sassy girl. And, of course... My Emerald, you're such a good boy. Oh, and I've got my um, diffuser working. Yay! Got in it cedar woods. Still a little bit of eucalyptus because I'm still getting over this cold. And peace and calming. I don't have my Ambien right now, so I'm hoping these will help me go to sleep. Because, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Um... <coughs> Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Hi, buddy. Ah! No! 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 <laughs> <coughs> He's being a weirdo. And then there's my beautiful girl. I love her. Why are you sniffing and licking my hair? 
<laughs> Riddler, what are you doing? Why are you such a weirdo? <laughs> and then he's playing with his lettuce. <coughs> so now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Riddler, what do you think the question of the day is, bud? I think it's going to be... What's some of the weirdest things that your dog or dogs have done? Or any of your pets, if you have any. Or if you don't have any pets, what's the weirdest thing you've done? So, Sassy rolls in horse poop. For the longest time. She hasn't done it in a while. Riddler does a lot of weird things, so that would take... That would be a video by itself. He has been getting to where he wants to eat potting soil? I don't know. And my life is a bunch of weird things, so there's that. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow.